Hello Taurus, welcome to a love reading all about what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. How do they view you or this connection? What are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you at this time? So let's jump right in for Taurus spirits, angel sides. What messages do you have for Taurus regarding the person that they are in a connection with at this time? What are they thinking or feeling about Taurus? 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 What are they thinking or feeling? You are what I've been searching for all along. Okay. What else? All of these decks are my own decks. Uh, you can find information on them in the description box. Tell me more for Taurus. Tell me more for Taurus. What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Taurus? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Taurus? You are my soulmate. So what I'm getting here is that you are not like the others. I feel like they had something special with you. But for some reason, I'm, I'm feeling like they found what they needed and they didn't treat it right. Let's see if I'm right about that. That's the energy that I'm picking up here. What do we need to know for Taurus? What do we need to know, Spirit? What are they thinking or feeling about Taurus? The person that Taurus is dealing with, what are they thinking or feeling about Taurus? What do we need to know about this person? Excuse me. What do we need to know about this person that Taurus is or will be dealing with here, Spirit? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Taurus? Hidden motives. Someone's hiding their true motives. Okay, so let's see if we can get to the bottom of this, Taurus, and get some more insight into what exactly is being hidden here. Tell me more about this person. Okay. What are their energies, Spirit? What are their energies towards Taurus? What are they thinking, feeling towards Taurus? What are their energies towards Taurus? What do we need to know? Okay, Taurus, let's see what we got for you. So in what they're thinking or feeling, their current energies at this time, we have the Knight of Cups Reverse and Death Reverse, Scorpio Energy. And what you need to know, anything hidden, we got the Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune Reverse. And in their true intentions or next actions possibly here, we have the Eight of Wands and the Empress Reverse. So I feel like that's you, Taurus. Um, bottom of the deck, I have the Tower. Yeah. So there could be something um, unex like an unexpected communication um, that takes place here because I have the Eight of Wands. Let me just move this a little bit. Um, so it could be that this person reaches out to you. Um, I feel like there's some. This person doesn't want whatever happened between you to end or this connection to end. Um, they don't want it to end or change. Despite the fact that things aren't, you know going so well. I feel like this is a situation where what's on the outside is not necessarily what's the truth. So I'm going to get, you know, more information. But what I'm seeing here is that in this person's intentions or actions is to talk to you. But this Empress is reverse. So I, I don't get this sense that you are open to this. Um, you could be very upset at this person or just don't really want to hear from this person. Um, can I get some insight for Taurus, please? Can I get some insight, please, for Taurus? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Oops. 
Ah, that was not good. Okay. What do we need to know? Let's start here with the Knight of Cups Reverse. Now this card could mean emotional manipulation. It depends on what other cards are around it. Um, it could mean someone that's heartbroken, devastated, or disappointed. So kind of want to get some insight into what this is about. What's the Knight of Cups Reverse doing here? What is the Knight of Cups Reverse doing here? Ten of Wands. Okay. What's this Knight of Cups Reverse doing here? The world. Yeah, see, I feel like this person, um, maybe they're overwhelmed emotionally here. Maybe they're not dealing well emotionally with what's happened. Maybe they're heartbroken at the situation or just disappointed at what's happened. I feel like this person wants to drop all of this and have a new cycle with the world. But, you know, I'm kind of getting the, the energy here of someone that's like, let's just start over. Let's just forget everything that's happened. Let's hit rewind, you know, but then there's resistance. So I don't feel like you're on the same page here. Tell me about death reverse Scorpio energy here. Tell me about death reverse, please. Why is death reverse? King of Cups. Yeah, this person doesn't want things to end or change. I feel like they still have a lot of love for you. I feel like they still want to move forward here. Yeah, look at this. The Death card and the Wheel of Fortune with the Page of Pentacles. It's almost like after something has ended or after there's been a change in your connection, someone's like, let's start over. I don't want this to end, you know? And... You know, that's all well and good, Taurus. I mean, maybe you would be happy to continue this connection, but maybe some of you uh, are, are not open to that. Maybe what happened was just too much. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? This isn't the what you should know or hidden factors. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Three of Pentacles. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reverse? That usually tells me that there's some sort of stuck situation or things just are not moving forward. Someone is stuck or they're having a bad go of things. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reverse? Why is the Wheel of Fortune reverse? Why is the Wheel of Fortune reverse? The Fool. Yeah, this is someone that's working on starting over or wants to start over, wants something new. Because for some reason, or wants to be free, because I have the Ten of Pentacles here with the Three of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Ten of Pentacles. Typically, this is a card for long-term stability, security, long-term commitments, you know, family, because this, this could be a card about generations. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Judgment. Yeah, I feel like this, honestly, I think you had something stable with this person. Hopefully, they didn't lie to you about another commitment. I do see that as a possibility, but I don't feel it very strongly. So I think that's only some of you. But I feel like for most of you, this is someone that just wants a second chance. They don't want this to end. They don't want to leave things the way they are. And it's like almost like it's like I need to fix this. The emperor here is at the bottom. Aries energy. I need to fix this. I need to make sure that this isn't um how things end seven of pentacles maybe this person is not very confident about the future what's this oh, there's the emperor again yeah they're very determined i feel like this person is very determined taurus so let's see what's going to happen here with the eight of wands and the emperor's reverse what do we need to know about this eight of wands with the emperor's reverse what do we need to know spirit about the eight of wands the Empress Reverse. I feel like some of you are just upset at this person. Four of Wands, okay. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands and the Emperor's Reverse. Ah. Three of Cups. Okay, I feel like some of you, this person, um, 
might be calling you to meet up. You know, let me come over or, you know, let's meet here. Let's talk. For others of you, there, there, there is a third party here. Someone got in the way here of this connection. And it doesn't necessarily have to be another partner. It could be a mother, a friend, a parent, family member. Tell me about the Eight of Wands with the Emperor's Reverse. Eight of Swords. The Moon. Okay, so Pisces energy here with the Moon. I feel like um, whatever they're going to tell you, they haven't told you this. This isn't something that they've told you. It will be new. A new thing. For others of you, I feel like this person might not tell you everything due to fear. You know, maybe if because they understand that you're upset or they understand, you know, why you would, you know, be resistant to this. Maybe they're trying to play their cards right. You know, they don't probably want you to block or they're avoiding you kind of blocking them right out of the gate. But I feel like whatever this moon is about, it's, it's like something that you're not aware of. Tell me about the moon. Let's see if we can get a little bit more clarity. What can you tell me about the moon? Four of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Well, whatever it is, I feel is going to be um, an honest communication. And I think it's something that, once again, you didn't know before. Or they probably haven't been honest about this yet. I think this person knows that when they come forward, there's a good chance you're going to reject them and not pay attention. Like, you're probably going to be like, I don't care. I don't care what you have to offer me. I, I'm not interested. I'm not open to an opportunity with you. Um, I think they're still going to try. And I think part of the reason why you're not interested is because maybe this person hasn't been honest with you up till now. Maybe it took a tower for them to realize that, you know, you are what they've been searching for all along. Like this card says here, that you are their soulmate. But I feel like something must have happened to make you lose trust in this person or to make you be angry with this person. Because the Empress is reversed. And when this person comes forward, I feel like you're not open to it or you're resisting this. Let's see if I can get a guidance oracle for you. This is from my Stellar Guidance deck. Any advice, messages, or guidance for Taurus? Any advice, messages, or guidance for Taurus? Spirit? What do we need to know? Think carefully. Bottom of the deck. Wait and see. Hmm. So some of you are probably going to be um, having a lot to think about once you this person tells you this. I feel like um, there's something that's going to be revealed. Wait and see. I feel like there's something that's going to be coming to the light here that, you know, and I don't know what, this could be anything. This could be your person confessing something. This could be your person telling you the complete truth about a situation. Um, maybe this is someone that's revealing a secret of some sort. Um, it could be even something small like, hey, uh, you are the one for me or I love you or something like that. Um, but Spare is saying wait and see and then maybe once you hear it to think on that. So that's what I have for you Taurus. I hope it resonated for you or brought clarity to your situation. Um, if it did resonate, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the reading and want to see more readings from me. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.